while prayers were going on, my son David woke up in the middle of the night, just very close to three o'clock. He said, Mommy, look, look at the dining table. Look, 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 look. I said, What is on the dining table? This time around, it was happening in my father's house, in my room, back home in my father's house, on a dining table. He said, Mommy, look at the dining table. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? I said, David, tell me what you see. He says, burning. Fire is burning there. Fire is burning there. Look at that pussy cat. The pussy cat is trying to jump out of the actual, uh, jump out through the window. Open that window. So I quickly went. I wanted to open the window physically. But now he told me that the window was open spiritually. He said, don't do anything but look. So he told me, fire is burning all of them. Now it's flying out. But the smoke and everything. He said, oh my God, look at that pussy cat. I started glorifying the name of the Lord. I started shedding tears that God could see me and see my tears and answer my prayers. I started thanking God. I said, God, I give you back this destiny child. Nothing would happen to him. And listen to me, men and brethren. This was how my son was delivered. If your child is in trouble and you did not even know that this is something that has to do with the spirit, I deliver them in the name of Jesus. I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus Christ. Parents, please, don't be too busy don't be too busy for your children because when you get too busy and somebody else is taking care of your child you don't know what kind of spirit that person has possessed you don't know what what else she does outside your house let's watch it men and bachelors watch who prepares your meal yeah watch the sellers when they make it look so beautiful and they bring it to you some sometimes question it sometimes it's just good but some other times it's ugly this woman has had I don't know what he has been feeding my husband but I thank God that I came and I thank God that God delivered us through it all and I thank God that God exposed that and I thank God that when he made she made a concussion to wipe the entire family away God said don't eat it we thought it was food but within him it was poison from this day I ask God to open your eyes let God open your inner mind your inner eyes to always see so the devil this devil will be put to shame. The Bible said that this ugly devil does not rest. He keeps roaring up and down seeking for whom to devour. He will not devour you or I. Like I told you, in that compound where I was living, it was a big compound that had a lot of people living in there. People lost. So everybody that lived in that compound lost something. This guy lost his wife. And I felt bad because after they saw, I think my husband went telling them that I was having revelations about the landlady and then some of them were coming to me, you know, giving me prayer points and talking to me about what they were facing in their house. Oh, this guy told me about his wife. He said, um, the landlady just refused to be friendly to the wife. And you know, the, uh, and the wife somehow she's prayerful. And from what my husband had told them, now they realize that something is going on. There's a witch living in this house. You know, right now his wife was sick. And then for years, they've been believing God for fruit of the womb. And some other people here believing God for fruit of the womb, but nothing is happening. Now they're realizing that something was behind it. And then I told him that um, I would like to see, um, speak with a wife, that God will, you know, do something. But finally, I left my, my I thought I finished with what I was supposed to do in that city and I left. So I was not able to speak with the wife. That same week when I left, I heard that he, he lost his wife. So people died. People lost something. I don't know what you have lost in life. Maybe you, you've been married for years and are fruit of the womb with something. God gave it to you. Somebody's messing with it. That person would die. You would die that you may have your destiny children. You will see your children and you will see your children's children. Satan has no power. All he does is just back. He back and he even runs. He's not able to stand and challenge it. He will back and he will run. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. I want to return all the glory unto God. Today is my son's birthday, David. And I thought about it and say, this is worth it to stand up and share this story. Because this story is something that will bless somebody. It will bless somebody. It will bless you. It will also bless me. Our destiny children are covered of them with the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, I thank you, and I just cannot thank you enough. You are so faithful. You are so wonderful. Like sometimes in my life, I sit down and I begin to wonder, who am I? Who am I? And even when I sleep, God is still.
Yeah, doing things for me. Waking me up, tapping me and telling me things are happening. Get up. I will turn all the glory to him. And thank you, viewers, for watching. And please, if you're able to, it's actually 38 minutes. I'm going to see if I can upload it. If I'm able to upload it, to God be the glory. If I'm not able to upload it, well, I will upload it next time. But I still have stories. If you want to hear more, inbox me. Thank you so much and God bless you. Amen.